All righty, folks. I want it to be known that Anna Kelly was the first invitation to our 50,000 subscriber event in Vegas on February 17th and 18th. So many of you have said, why isn't Anna on the schedule? Well, Anna, why aren't you on the schedule? Oh, put the pressure on, why <laughs> don't you? Michael has been, you have been great. I appreciate being the first invite. And and Michael's also very patient, you know, as a, as a busy mama who has three kids still at home, one is a senior this year. So she's getting, finishing up all her senior stuff. And the other is a pretty competitive gymnast. She actually won um, states for bars last year. Wow. It's like the height of their seat, their sports season. So I have, I'm waiting any day now for the final schedule for my daughter's gymnastics competitions, because as much as I love you, Michael, and I love all of our investors, family does come first. And I realize I that, agree, you know, with, with my children getting older and older and one about to graduate, I know I never get these days back. And so I made a, I made a commitment to them when I left AIG, that I would not miss any of their big events and I would try not to miss games. And, and I did miss a few because of timing after I had said yes to events, you know, that were important, but this is my daughter's last year in volleyball yeah. and another one, maybe last year in super competitive gymnastics, because it takes four hour practices, four days a week. It's pretty all in, encompassing with time. Um, I realize I don't get those back. And so oh. I'm waiting for the schedule and I have told you, and I will tell all you listeners too, if my daughter doesn't have a major competition at the same time, I will plan to be in Vegas and look forward to meeting all of you. I, I would ask for nothing. Yes. And frankly, I would be disappointed if you came to my event instead of seeing your, your daughter's last competition. It's it's, I have a daughter, obviously a little bit older than yours and, and you're right. You don't get those days back. So, um, yeah, uh, you're doing and the you right know thing. this is this is the kind of thing that happens, and this is why I've learned to say, "Wait, if wait. you can wait for me, I'd love to be there." Because you know what happened last year, or it was two years ago. I actually said yes to an event I was really excited about, and um, I looked at my calendar. My kids had nothing on the calendar, and wouldn't you know it? Um, basically the the scores that were required to go on to the state gymnastic competition were very high and it was a covid year where the gyms were shut down for a very long time and what my daughter didn't make it to the state competition so i was like okay she doesn't have states i can go and after i booked a week before the state changed the score requirements because so few gymnasts met the requirement because of covid and she made it to States and I missed her very first state competition. And oh, the mama's heart, you know, oh. the guilt of I'm helping other people, which I love, but I'm not there to see my baby in her first state level competition. And I promised I wouldn't do that again. So I, you know, I, I want to just make sure that yeah. I'm there for the big stuff. And, you know, that's what they're going to remember. They're going to, they, I don't want them remembering mama went to a, an event and she wasn't there for me. So um, there, that's my first, you know, responsibility and blessing and legacy. But every time that I can, um, I just, I love and am fueled by being able to be at events, to speak, to impact other people's lives, to, to make a difference in your investing in your own family's future. And so I am really excited about the event that you're doing. I'm really hopeful I can be a part of it. Um, and as soon as I know for sure, you will be the first one that I let Michael and then we'll know, we'll announce it on the show. Absolutely. Well, what I what I thought of you, because you've been to a lot of events, both as a participant and a speaker, is kind of outline what we're trying to do, because I think it's very different than any event I have been to and, frankly, any event I've heard of. So yes. the genesis of the, this event was, hey, Michael, if you ever get one rental at a time to 50,000 subscribers, we should throw a party, which we got there about two months ago. So congratulations it's yeah. so exciting i'm so yeah. excited to be a small part of it oh you're a huge part of it you're the you're the first millionaire that came back weekly you set the stage for the you know the next eight or nine so you are a huge part of it but Thank you. so it started there i then go out do a bunch of research trying to find a facility and all of that and, and putting on an event in vegas is uh, rather expensive as you might imagine um but I found a I found a location that allowed me to give back. So there's this center called the Blind Center who supports the visually impaired of, of Clark County, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And they do something very unique. So they service the community Monday through Friday, but they're shut down Saturday and Sunday. So what they do to offset cost is they rent the facility out Saturday and Sunday. It's like 40,000 square feet. Wow. 
Uh, so I found this location. Um, they can support about 300 um, participants or, or, you know, whatever, tickets or whatever to the event and have all these other entertainment and food options and all of these things. So I said, um, I want to be a part of that. And I want to rent the entire facility for Saturday and Sunday because they could technically rent it to multiple parties and all that. I'm like, I'm going to take it all because I don't want anybody else around. Uh, so we awesome. do that. And then they have a, uh, a house band called the Broken Spectacles, which you can hire for an additional cost. It's, a, as you might imagine, an all blind band. Wow. Uh, so that's I paid awesome. For a, yeah. So I paid for a concert. We're going to have a concert from the Broken Spectacles on Saturday wow. night as a way to give back and again, you know, spend some more money and, and create a unique experience for everyone. I so love that. There's all of that. Then, um, I want to do an event like no other. So I'm going to have every speaker, which I'm going to show you the agenda, the current agenda, it will change or it could change is every speaker gets roughly an hour. They're going to talk for 10 or 15 minutes on a topic that I and the speaker agree on. And then Anna, we are going to have microphones on the right and on the left where people can line up and ask questions. So 80% of the content is done by the audience members. What questions do you have? All of that. So usually it's PowerPoint, death by PowerPoint. People zone out. They don't do anything. No back of the room. Nobody's selling anything. Everybody coming is coming because they want to celebrate 50,000 and they want to give back. It, it's um, it's pretty awesome feeling that everybody, you know, everybody who can say yes, has said yes. You will say yes if there's no family commitment, but that's what I'm doing. And it's two full days. Dude, Anna, it goes from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday. Wow. Because it, it sounds has... like a great party. It sounds yeah. so fun. And I I love that. I love um, that you're leaving a lot of time for Q&A um, because it, it is difficult in conferences, especially because you want to be able to hear the next speaker and the next speaker to really get enough of your questions answered. And, you know, I feel bad when I, I go to these events and I've got a line of, you know, 15 people wanting to talk to me and I can talk to three. And then I'm like, yeah. so sorry, you know, nice to see you message me on Facebook or whatever. Right. Um, and so giving people the opportunity to really be able to, to ask the questions the, the pressing questions that they have, I think is wonderful. And it's something I really enjoy being able to, to help people through their real-time questions. So sounds phenomenal. You're getting me even more excited and Yay! I will let you know very soon. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing I'm trying to do is if you watch, you know, multiple videos on my channel, it's, it's becoming pretty diverse, right? We have, um, you know, some stock conversations, we have some, you know, brand and, and YouTube conversations. Um, my goal for everyone is five things. One, I want them to find one session that is life-changing. Two, I want them to uh, create five new friends. Because I think one thing that's unique about one rental at a time, it's not going to be the amazing millionaires on stage, which will be awesome. But it's 250 to 300 other folks in the audience all doing the work. I do not attract the talkers. I attract the doers. Yes. And I think everybody in the audience can make five new friends. Three, I think you can get at least 10 pages of notes. Four, I expect there to be 20 lifetime memories created, whether it's the broken spectacles or the Sparty or the network or the selfie you take with Anna or whatever it is. And then finally, number five, I want to exceed all expectations. Those are the five things I'm trying to get done. So let me show you the agenda that, it. as it currently exists. Great. Because I've taken time to put this together. All right. You can see that? Uh-huh. So the first session, and I knew this was going to be the first session once I started collecting the names, is a gentleman named Jason Pritchard and his wife, Jen Pritchard. The reason they're up first, Anna, is how many times have you heard my husband and or my wife is not on board? Oh, right? yes. Right. So Jason and Jen's story is one that most of us, yourself, myself included, probably would never do. Jason Pritchard was a six-figure earner who quit his job, burned the boat, racked up credit card debt, took an equity line on his home to become a real estate investor. Wow. Now, it worked out. His story is so important. It's in my second book. But I want people to ask Jason and probably more important, Jen or Jennifer, how was that? Now, Jason and Jennifer are living a life as a couple that is 
probably second to none. They travel every 90 days. They're doing all these cool things. They live out. They just are go-givers. But I want Jason and Jennifer to get up on stage and go, ask me the hard questions. And that's how we're going to start. That That's the very first session. Love it. Yeah. Then we're going to have Brian Adamson come on, who is a out-of-state investor. He lives in Orlando. He's built a big community in Detroit, Michigan. We're going to have Sean Connell for the CEO of Think Media. Uh, come on and talk about building a brand or YouTube or side hustles, whatever people want. We're going to do plenty of networking. So lunch and networking. Uh, then we're going to have Adrian Hernandez come on and talk about mindset. Beth Traverso, who's a top 1% agent in the country. Coach Carson, Chad Carson from Bigger Pockets fame, just reached out to me yesterday and say, Michael, you convinced, because he said no. He said no first. He's like, nope, not coming. I get invited. I'm not coming. He reached out to me yesterday and said he talked to his wife and changed his mind. Coach Carson's Good. now coming. Yeah. Then we're going to have three uh, lenders come on because everybody, you need to be able to put deals together. We're going to have the uneducated economist who reached out to me and said, I want to be a part of this. Then we're going to do dinner and networking because again, we're off site. The blind center is like two miles or three miles from the strip. So this awesome. is 8 a.m. to 10. So dinner, networking. Then we're going to have the concert from eight to nine. And then the party, right? This is this whole thing started as a party. So we'll do some celebration, maybe some awards, something like that. But that's day one, 14 hour awesome. day one. Pretty fun, right? Very fun. Yes. And I, I love that you've got some networking and lunch between there and the party and a dinner and all that stuff. So people can, you know, really spend some time networking as well as asking their questions. That's great. Awesome. Then we're going to have a 30-year veteran uh, who actually was doing deals in the 80s, Ty, who's coming on, who's my Friday guest. There's the that ADU guy. I think one thing in California and many markets is adding ADUs to your backyard. Dan Bird is my stock and charts guy. Bo Eckstein is the concierge to small business loans. Cody Sanchez got everybody excited about boring businesses. Then there's lunch. Then there's Casey, Brick by Brick Wealth. Casey's an amazing story because she's built up a portfolio of, of eight or nine units in Memphis. She started with a side hustle, creating little Etsy goods um, to, to get her first down payment. Then Lance Lambert, who's a fortune editor. He's an editor at Fortune Magazine, has, is a part of my Thursday shows. And he's like, Michael, I want to come. I want to thank you for you know all of that. And then, of course, we're going to awesome. close out the session with what we call the, the, the Avengers, Millennial Mike, Dion Talk, the Lumberjack, and I kind of closing out. Well, there we go. There's two days. Love it. Love yeah. it. I, I love everything about it. I just got to figure out where you're going to slip me in. Right. Oh, when don't I worry. I, I know exactly. Yes. I know exactly where you're going, but I, you, I got to get the yes answer first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You, you, you've worked me over now. I just got, I'll, I'll yeah. send an email when we're done. Hey, no, what, what is February looking like? And yeah, I'm excited for you. Yeah. So, so again, Anna wants to be there. She obviously, I hope everybody heard the passion in her voice. She wants to be there, but family commitments come first, family first. I totally respect that. I would be disappointed if she missed a state meet to come to our event, uh, but if she can, she'll be there, right? Absolutely. And you know what, Michael, even if I can't, I would, I'll send you some books that maybe you can auction off, um, okay. you know, maybe toward giving to the blind yeah. center or something that we can do exciting so that I have some way that I can participate even if I can't be there. But that I'll let you know awesome. here soon. And I'm ex I'm excited for the event. What a, a huge accomplishment to have 50,000 followers. We started talking, I think it was about five years ago at this point, just yeah. a small little channel and just, you know, giving back and weekly conversations. To, so to see what you've done and, and the course that you've been we've able done. to create we've done. and that we've, we've done, done um, but you were really, you know, the mind behind it and the one that does it every single day. It, it's really incredible incredible. I'm, I'm really excited for you and all the people that I know we've impacted and, and blessed to be a part of it every week. Yeah. So at the end of the day, hopefully in the next two to three weeks, we'll know if Anna can come or not. Again, she wants to be there, but family first. Anna, you're amazing. Thank you for coming back each week. Thank you for being the first millionaire who said yes to weekly conversations. This channel, this current iteration does not exist without you saying yes that first time. So uh, it will never be forgotten. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you. That means a lot to me. You know, impacting other people and, and helping you change your lives is, is something that is is one of the best things that I do. Um, gives me a lot of um, just excitement and joy to see, you know, lives changed every single week. So I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of it. Thank you so much. Excited about your event and more to come. There you go. Thanks, Anna. Take care. Thanks.